Welcome to my channel. This is Sam, and I'm playing Red Dead Redemption 2. I know Far Cry Primal was the most popular game that I played. Because I don't get views in these games, but in Far Cry Primal, I get views in every video. Shocking, kind of. But what can I say? So, what we did was uh, we stole liquor from the Breath Whites and then sold it to them. And uh, uh, that's one way to get your shirt drenched in mud. Now I have to change. Okay. So uh, yeah, what I was telling is uh, we robbed the breath whites, then uh, we sold the liquor to them only in half price. So they were angry, of course. But uh, listen to me. I give you any piece of advice. Any at all? Don't become a mother. Ain't worth it. Worth the job and all creation. This is my heart, man. Feed the boy. Raise the boy. Do any damn thing you could protect the boy. Shit. Does a little apple of his mother's eyes so much as consider the words thank you? Or spread anything other than put her whore at her who burst him. That's coffee. Uh, maybe I will take some coffee. What? That option is not coming anymore. Okay. So that is two. Whoa. I just wanted to drink coffee. So what the fuck is my Oh, 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 oh. Wow, okay. Arthur, Arthur. What now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease ridden, swampy, Dixie whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. Well, not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. <laughs> Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So, I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. <sighs> Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. When I finally found my hut and... Come on, let me change. That changing option is not coming here. Like anything else is showing. Okay. 
the dirt seems to wear off from my shirt on its own so let's meet charles and uh, go for that all right then charles i need you for some business in town come on okay We have like uh, oh, I forgot to tell one thing that when you are doing one mission, you cannot see other missions. Dutch wants us to have a talk with Chiloni about these bounty hunters who are coming for us, hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay, and you're deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. As soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. <laughs> hmm. So, the spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. Ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Yeah, but they don't know that. Of course. Jelani. I've only met him a couple times, but he's... Hold up a second. Come on, we gotta stick together. Now, I was saying... He's a strange one. Whoa. Come on. Someone got here first. So it seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Check the house. This food's barely touched. Looks like you left in a hurry. What do you think? Bed's not made, so he must have been here recently. Found anything? See anything there? Where's it happen, man? Big struggle. Pretty recently, I'd say. I guess maybe uh, 12 hours ago. But nobody? Not yet. <laughs> There's some blood here. That ain't good. Come on, before they get too far ahead. What is this apple, man? Forget it. <coughs> they went down the path here. I'm fracking these days. All right, I guess. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying. No? Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. You know, when me and Javier went down with Bonnie to get Sean after the bar fight, I swear he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. 
I thought you knew. That's his special talent. They could... 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. Yeah. Well, I still ain't sure about that. Hey, look. Let's go see what those fellas have to say. Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen them? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. <laughs> You seen a strange sort of fella? Sort of formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? You both better get out of here! Come on! Please hit me. One down. One to go. You stay there. Where is Trelawney? I don't know anything. Tell me where he is. You go to hell. You better tell me now, you son of a bitch. Okay. Okay, for Christ's sake. They took him to a cabin over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. Bring him pretty good. All right. That should do it. Come on, let's go. Fuck my honor. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite place. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. It just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a That guy got fare. my hat, he don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learned that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent, keeping fish on the line. And I should save this guy. We have uh, inside Breathwet territory, I think, yeah. Where are we going? That must be it. Whoa! Let's get 
you out of here. Come on, boy. The thing is, after that shack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Is that the lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, Are you uh, alive? Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Look, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. Who knows what he told them? Let's get after those sons of bitches. Quick, find them. They're trying to hide in a field. We just fired on Breathler territory. I don't think this will be good for us. Where is the other guy? I think I lost him. This guy went. This guy's boat last guy can't seem to find the find him or yeah. And but I think we had only two guys holding him, two guys ran, and then I killed two guys. Hey! I see something on the ground over here. Just dumped his gear. Look around. You can't have gone far. for Trelawney. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery feller. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. Uh, <laughs> guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. 
Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm. So I heard. <laughs> Is this sure. What's government agents and bounty pistol. hunters to us? Must be there. I hope you're right. We are rolling block. Sniper at the oh, sorry, I forgot to loot you, motherfucker. I don't know if this uh, incident will counter any. Consequences. I actually did not see that guy. Well, uh, he's still here at least. Tied me from behind. Put your feet up, why don't you? You okay? Never fine. So, who was they? They were bounty hunter. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon, looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I'll keep here. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles, you take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you, OK? I did not like the. There always seems to be more. Face Chelani made. More and more of civilization. I want to get back in the open country of the West, or what's left of it. But well, even that ain't the way I remember it. Okay. Mm, there's a question mark here. Let's see what this is actually. It's this way, I think. No, I'm going the wrong way. You okay there, mister? If you need me to move. Move? I am. I sit in the wrong place. Excuse me? No, I didn't mean any offense, sir. Please. I don't get your meaning. I'm very sorry, sir. You have yourself a fine day, and I apologize for any offense I may have inadvertently caused. What are you drinking, mister? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Why are you acting so strange? I don't mean to. I'm sorry for any offense. How could you have offended me? I have no idea. But I had no idea how I offended the last fellas. And they stole my wagon on account of my impudence. Stole your wagon for back check? Mm, they didn't like my medical practice, I suppose. I was helping folk. And that wasn't popular? I was undercutting the competition. Or I was too colored. Or I was irritating in nature. 
or I was some know-it-all big city slicker here to demean some good old boys of my fine words. The exact variety of my sins was the source of some conjecture, so they undercut me. Very, very nice. That was my impression. Still, compared to the gutting, castration, defenestration, and crucifixion they offered me, I felt I got off lightly. Imaginative bunch. Yes. But no great love for my medical practice. Too free with my wisdom and services. <sighs> Which way they go? Down the road, that away. Stay here. I'm sort of forced to. Lily to our Please trip. don't go to any trouble on my account. Mm hmm. Are you looking for that fellow's wagon? I heard him say they was taking it to Macomb's Inn. Okay, thanks. Oh, wait. That's way too far. They have to that far. Just making my missions longer and longer. No fast travel. I need that I apart from my missions I just got this side mission. This is the swamp where they were making alcohol, which we stole and we sold. Then we had the grace drink the moonshine. Who goes there? Last morning. Where's the damn white? For you. Of course. You ain't gonna see it. 
I tried to drop them off a bit. This one is a bolt action. This one is a one double barrel shotgun. Let me see the damage, range, and fire rate and accuracy in this one. Let me just. Range is good on this Lancaster Repeater. Also, accuracy is good. Damage is a little lower, but I will still keep this one. Let's go for the wagon. Oh, we cannot go in. What this? Oh, yes. Come on, give me something. Here. Six. Six. Back to the dock. This is not going to be easy. Is it too far? Drive a wagon. So, I was telling you guys that I don't get so many views on this game. The one other great samurai than that. What the? The fucker just. That's why I don't do cinematic games. Yep. Stupid. Tinker got attacked.
I thought they were going to attack me, that's why I killed them before they can even think of attacking me. some good work cover of that Dutch made a plan to rob both Grays and Breath White. So it's going to be a bloodbath. If not now, then soon. And it's going to get uh, ugly. You know this fella, don't you? Look who it is! I did not count on seeing that wagon again. No, you for that matter. The only people you won't be seeing are the folks that took it. Uh, I take it they aren't the only ignorant bullying clodhoppers in these parts. But I can live in glorious hope. Uh, it wasn't a trouble now, was it? No, it was a pleasure. Yeah. Let me give you something for your bro. pleasure. Uh, that what was we got trouble. Here. Ah, how about this? Provide a man a tincture, he'll be well for a day. Teach him to make one, he might be well a while longer. Well, I'll make sure to try and make this. Thank you. Thank you. It won't work for anything chronic, but you may not need it to. Well, if you see me on my travels and you're in need of something, make sure you come and say hello. Travel safe now. Okay. See? You got some good honor here. So I need to do some missions. Dinosaur bones that I cannot find. Secret cards I only got like a three or four of them. I don't know. Uh, it's not showing here. Penny Dreadful Book was unable to say as for a harmonica magicians for sport. I have so many tasks. So I got to see four missions now. I think that's James or the John guy. Let's do this first. This is close by. And I will uh, remove these marks because they are confusing. I don't think this place. I'll mark it if I when I need it. Now there's only one mark. Don't. If you guys are enjoying this game, because I am Rockstar, outdid them again, outdid themselves again. And we all are waiting for RDA 3. Okay. But I actually don't know what happened at the end. 
said breakfast manor or something to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. Have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000 for horses? Easy. Where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Oh, over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. So Dutch told us that uh, we'll uh, rob both of them. So he told two guys to go after the place and two guys to go after the place. But it's not go after like attack or something. Just uh, watching out for them and uh, making strategies, or following their plans. Crazy old fool. You should see the Braithwaite woman. Jose and Sean are planning on going over to the Braithwaites. Haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. We don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. $5,000 for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah, he doesn't know what he's talking about. But get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. Make them think we're there looking at a purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. I have never seen five thousand dollar horse. Let's see what we have here. Careful, there's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right then. Can I help you? 
help you gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. But head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. Land guard was easily fooled. So we go on. That's it. Nice and easy. No need to rush. Don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. Just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. Head around the front, hitch up there. All right, let's hitch up here. Whoa! You can rest now, boy. Let me do the talking. You guys know why I fed my horse now because if we have to run after doing some shitty things here, it's going to be easier. Hello there. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breeding. So. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. This here's Cerberus. There you go, boy. Cerberus is a real reliable stud. Fathered many a... A hot greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need... Nobody recognizing us. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy now. Easy. Marston, you're going to tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Out here, you're gonna lead the stallions. Easy. It's okay, boy. Easy. You're okay. Easy. Take it easy. 
Ah, again, this thing happened. Fuck. Oh, it's already 15 minutes. Server is surreal. Uh huh, three, sir, huh? Okay, bandana's off. Don't need nobody recognizing us. Alright, I'll grab the white one in the middle, you get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Big easy, boy. Easy. Easy now. Easy, now. Marshal, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Get going, you two! I'll watch the What the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! You made it wrong! I said stop these men! Stop! I'll drain this horse of stamina. Hey Morgan! Over here! You got him! Well done! Clemens Cove is just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. You think they look like they're paying 5,000 for horses? I guess we'll see. Boys want. Heard you was, uh, heard you paid good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother Clive. We're twins. 
John, Arthur, Javier. So what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That's so? Maybe. Well, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Uh, sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 650 for them. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the boon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it, or leave it. Uh-huh. All right, you goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. See you boys again, I hope. Come on, yeah. Close the gate, Clive. <laughs> Arthur was serious. Hey, we lived a yard put us by one of that gray family. Imagined we was gonna be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. So there are two missions here. I will start doing that in the next video. Uh, we'll do this too, then go for this mission out there this one seems to be fire so i will end the video here thank you guys for watching stay tuned for more and don't forget to subscribe i will be back with more videos so keep watching and have a good day